First Thoughts with the Reverend Steve Stockman. Good morning. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 20. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus and kneeling down asked a favour of him. What is it you want? Jesus asked. She said, grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. You don't know what you're asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup that I'm going to drink? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from that cup, but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those whom they have been prepared by the Father. When the ten heard about this, they were indignant with the two brothers. Jesus called them together and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with us. Instead, whoever wants to become great among us must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. It seems to me that as we read the gospel here and as we think about the world we live in, it's about power. How many times do we hear people coming to power? It might be by a majority vote in an election or it might be hereditary or it might be by military force. But people come to power and that power comes with some might. Most of our six o'clock news is about such power struggles across the world. It is, in fact, how the world rules. It is these ways of power that were in James and John's mother's mind when she approached Jesus to get her boy's promotion. Could they sit with Jesus when he came to power? The other disciples were not at all pleased at this attempt to get one over on them and an argument, discussion, debate arises. Then Jesus explains yet again that his ways are not at all like the ways of the world that we are used to. This mother and the disciples are thinking about the power of Rome, perhaps, in those days, ruling over by brutal force the Jewish people, or even the religious leaders of the Jewish people themselves. But Jesus talks revolution. It is a very different kind of power source that his kingdom has. His empire was going to be upside down, the exact opposite of the normal that we see around us. Jesus is God. He's not just a king. He's the king of kings. He's not just Lord, he's Lord of Lords. However, being Lord of Lords and King of Kings, he empties himself to become human and live among us. He gives up the, he, the rule of power that it might be seen as different. To rule in Jesus' kingdom is to serve others. Power is servanthood by humility, by grace by love and mercy. In Jesus' kingdom, the last are first and the first are last. In Jesus' kingdom, we do unto others as we would have them do unto us. I have a mantra in the Fitzroy congregation where I minister, that we are the people of the manger, the donkey and the cross. But as I prepared these first thoughts, I have added another, foot washing. Here is the new way to live. God was not born in a palace of riches, but in a stable. When Jesus came into Jerusalem to conquer the world, he didn't come on a stallion. He came on a humble donkey. When Jesus wanted to show his disciples about how to use their power, he got down on his knees and washed their feet. When Jesus took on the evil powers of the universe, he did it by dying on a cross of wood. This is a strange way. This seems a crazy way to rule a kingdom. 
Yet, if we want to turn the world around and find peace and equality and justice, this is how it works. This is the secret. The upside down empire is our only hope. It is so radical that it takes decades to come to terms with, perhaps even longer to start living. James and John's mother should have been asking, Jesus, how can my sons serve the marginalized alongside you? And what about us as well? As I attempt to follow Jesus into the rest of the weekend, I need to remember that I am following a person of the manger, the donkey, the foot washing and the cross.